Welcome to the TechBits YouTube channel. If you are a new viewer or a returning viewer, we welcome you both and encourage you to continue watching our videos in this channel. That said, we're going to be looking today at an introduction to Postgres SQL schemas. It is a brief guide on creating Postgres SQL schemas, as mentioned. Also, how to build structured databases. We're going to be walking you through the basics of how to create Postgres SQL schemas why they are essential and how you can create them to organize your data effectively. So let's go ahead and dive in. You can think about them as containers that help you organize and manage your database objects, such as tables, views, functions, and a lot more. There also are two main types of schemas in Postgres, your public schema, and that leads you to the next one, private schema. Now the public schema is the default schema where objects are stored if no specific schema is specified. It's accessible to all users by default. Private schema is a custom schema created by users to organize and manage their database objects. They offer more control over access and permissions. And that's going to lead us into the next step, which is a demo. As you can see, we are already connected to PSQL. So the first step is let's create a database, call it schemas. Makes it easy, easier to remember. And now let's create a schema. Oh, it already says it exists. Okay, let's drop it and let's create it. Now let's connect to it. Once connected, so far, everything looks good. Let's create a table. Or actually, I'm skipping a step. I'm going to create a schema named sales. And then within the schema, the table. So we want to verify we have schemas created and tables. If we usually do a BT to find any tables, we're not going to see because it's not in the public schema. It's in a private schema. That's it. How do we list our schemas? It is accomplished by the slash backslash the in. And we have two schemas, public, as I mentioned before, and our private schema, sales. Okay, success. But now we want to list the tables within our sales schema. Let's see what we can do. If we do a DT sales on our schema, what happens? It doesn't find anything. But if we do the following, oh, we have our customers table there. Okay, that's progress. Let's go ahead and create a, an index within, wrong check, we have an index. And now let's insert data so we can query it later. We have rows in our table. Let's go ahead and query this table. Notice that the select statement, if we just perform the following, there is no table because we didn't specify the schema. If we specify the schema name, in this case, sales, we get results. The same would happen if, if I want to filter by the last name, we are able to filter. So notice what we did here. We created a new schema named sales. We created a table named customers within the sales schema with columns for the customer information table. Then we created an index followed by inserting sample data. Then we queried the table customers within the schema itself, and we filtered with the last name. Once we created the schema, we were able to pop it and of course, navigate the data within it and retrieve it as well. So why should you use PostgreSQL schemas? Well, they offer several benefits, including logical organization. Schemas allow you to logically group related database objects together, making it easier to manage and maintain your database. They are also secure. You can assign different access privileges to different schemas, enhancing security and control over your data. They also help with the ease of maintenance. Schemas make it simpler to manage multiple databases or applications within a single PostgreSQL instance. In conclusion, PostgreSQL schemas are powerful tools for organizing and managing your database effectively. By creating schemas, you can maintain a structured and efficient database environment tailored to your specific needs. That's all for this video. We hope you found this introduction to PostgreSQL schemas helpful. Stay tuned for more tutorials and guides. See you soon.